cargo pocket, pleats on the pant leg, side pocket, waistband, and fly. Let's make all these details. Hi, I'm Jean. Welcome to Pattern Studio 101. This channel is all about pattern making. If you love my videos, why don't you join my email list? Once a week, I send extra pattern making lessons right into your inbox. You can join my email list on my website, patternstudio101.com. Last time, in episode 106, we made sweatpants patterns. If you haven't watched it yet, the link is in the description box. We are going to draft some details on that pant pattern. Start with a waistband, fly, side pockets, cargo pockets, and tucks near the knee area. Let's get started. This is the pattern we drafted last time. I'm going to separate the front and back. Let's make a waistband. If you want to make a waistband without an opening, you can make simply a rectangle. My example is 2 inches in height, and the length is pant waist length. Let's say the seam will be at the center back, then these are the same, and these are the same. Here's the center front. These are the same front, and these are the same back. But my front waist and back waist are the same in this case, so they are basically all the same. If we want to have an opening with a zipper, then make a knot for zipper length. And make a fly. Start from half of an inch down where the zipper started. And fly width, I would go with 2 inches. Let's say you are going to make the left side up. Then this is going to be the left fly. For the right fly, I'm going to copy this. And you mirror like this. This is a fold line. So the underfly should be double layers. And your waistband needs an extension. Then you might not want to have elastic at the center front. So maybe up to here. OK, let's make a side pocket. 2 inches at the waist and 6 to 7 inches at the side seam. Draw a pocket opening and draw a pocket back. Keep this length short, about 1 inch, because we will have cargo pockets right under this pocket. Then the front pants will be like this, without this triangle shape. And you need these two pockets, with the triangle shape and without the triangle. Let's draw a cargo pocket. Pocket flap first. 10 inches width, 2 inches and a half height. For the pocket, 9 inches and a half width, and 10 inches height. I made the pocket width half of an inch smaller than the flap width. So when you stitch up, the pocket is quarter of an inch smaller than the flap on each side. So the pocket opening will be nicely covered by the flap. To make drill holes on the pants, match front side seam with the back, where the pocket will be. And place the pocket and the flap on your pants patterns. And make drill holes. You're going to stitch the top of the flap. So you can have a drill hole just quarter of an inch down from the flap edge. Then you won't see the drill holes. But for the pockets, you will not stitch the pocket opening. 
So make a drill hole quarter of an inch down from the pocket edge and quarter of an inch in from the pocket opening. If you want to make a pleat like this on the cargo pocket, then let me move the pocket so you can see better. Draw a line and open for the plate. I opened 4 inches, so 2 inches on each side. Okay, let's make pleats near the knee. I'm going to make 2 pleats only on the front like this. Draw a line where you want to have pleats. I'm going to open 2 inches. Decide which way you want to fold these pleats. If you want to fold the pleats towards the waist, when you fold the pleats, these two lengths should be the same. Then you through the inseam and out seam like this. Let's make one more. Draw a line, open two inches. This time I'm going to fold the pleats towards the pants hem. If you fold down the pleats, these two lengths should be the same. Then you throw the inseam and outseam this way. I made the pleats only on the front, but you can make the pleats both on the front and back like this if you want. Here's the cargo pants we dropped it today. Are you a pattern maker? Join my Facebook group, Pattern Making Professionals. I post some pattern making tutorials there as well. The link is in the description box. This channel is totally dedicated for young professionals to take their pattern making skills to the next level. Have a beautiful week. See you next time.